Hey guys, I'm gonna give it back here for the video guys. Welcome back to the episode of the Jacksonville Jaguars franchise series. Today we're taking on the Buffalo Bills in this week three matchup. Obviously, last week we went ahead and got Julio Jones. Week one we got Mr. Aaron Donald. Now this week we haven't gotten anybody. We didn't add anybody to the squad. So we are rocking with the typical squad. But it does not matter because of course we do have the two goats on the squad now. I told you guys last season, you know, this season we're going to make a blockbuster trade. We're going to be picking up some really, really amazing players. And that's exactly what we did. You know, last season we got to the championship. One game away from being in the Super Bowl. And I was just like, this year we have to find a way to fix that whole situation. As right here, a pass completed down the field to the 29-yard line. First down and 10, here's your pass right hand side to julio jones surprisingly enough not surprising at all last week he had a fantastic week this week he's gonna have most likely another really good week very excited to see how he progresses throughout the year um you know whenever you bring a new receiver into a offense you never know how good they're gonna play right you never know how amazing they're gonna play are they gonna get you know entwined with the quarterback as it scores touchdown right here entwined with the quarterback or is it going to be you know a whole entire situation where they're slowly going to progress to that situation right so you never know what's going to happen but so far julio has seemed to be really doing good with trevor lawrence and obviously tw already a freaking goat of a player so we don't have to worry about too much about him you know progressing with an elite receiver like Julio jones uh, nonetheless there's second nine five here we want to see jackson watch to get some stops from defense this week definitely something we want to see progress a little bit more is that defense um for jacksonville now i'm not saying in my no such imagination is jacksonville a bad defense but and you definitely give up a lot of yards per game and that's something we want to see kind of go down a tad bit just because again you don't want to see as many yards given up when you have as many yards as they do you might not allow points but you just put yourself in bad situations where if tw does make a mistake it really just hinders him and we saw that in the afc championship game last year where they lost because again just a couple mistakes by tw where again he's young he's gonna make mistakes don't put your quarterback in a position where he could lose it all if he does make a couple mistakes so second out of two here though it's gonna be a run play at the middle here down the four yard line first and goal now and it's gonna be a touchdown for the buffalo bills it's just like that tying the uh contest at seven apiece next drive later the jacksonville jaguars starting this drive off on the ground here next play later it's gonna be a pass play here and ends up being a fumble by jacksonville picked up by buffalo and they're gonna return it to around the 10 or 11 yard line so just like that um like i said before a simple mistake by this jacksonville jaguars offense do not put your quarterback in a situation where you know one simple mistake could cost them a game and it looks like Jacksonville's defense not holding strong so far. Let's see if they can go ahead and actually fix this because they definitely cannot give up a touchdown here as they do give up a touchdown there. A run up the middle by Devin Singletary. Next play, a little a deep pass here is incomplete. Looking for Chenault, and it ends up being a rough in the passer call. So that will give them the ball first down plus 15 yards. Obviously, though, they about to hit that deep pass right there. Could have been a big play if they were able to hit it. But but I just play later to me a screen pass here down to the 46 yard line almost at midfield here next play later though Julio Jones welcome to Jacksonville as Julio scores a tutty tying the ball game up at 14 apiece so first down 10 here Aaron Donald comes in and gets the sack brand new addition excited to see how good he can play as he does go ahead and play throughout the season next play later pass off the side is completed but this does mean that Jack Jacksonville might have a chance to get the ball back for halftime and a big run right here will not give them a tutty give them a first down so that's going to get the ball back to Jacksonville and they're going to throw a tutty the first play when they get the ball back to Julio Jones just like that going ahead and going 21 to 14 at halftime coming out of halftime now Buffalo only down by seven but they need to go ahead and score a touchdown get Julio is getting going TW is getting going. This Jacksonville Jaguars offense is getting going. Like, there's a whole bunch of issues when it comes to 
whenever TW and the Jacksonville Jaguars are getting going, you don't want to be on the other side of that. We have seen many, many times this team blow out teams because of the fact that they get going. And once they get going, it's not a good look. So nonetheless, the second down and one here at the 45 yard line. It's going to go and be another run play at the middle here. This one for another first down. And Jacksonville defense simply not able to contain this Buffalo Bills offense. Very disappointing in that aspect. But again, like I said, you know, we just we got to see some progression by this defense as time goes on. You know, how much progression we had, we'll wait and see on how much progression they can actually do. But definitely something disappointing so far. Second down seven here, pass for another first down by Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, first down 10 here is going to be a run play at the middle here. Goes absolutely nowhere. Good stop right there. Second down 8 though. Another pass play here. This one all day to throw it. And another sack by Aaron Donald. Bring up third down 20 here. It's going to be a pass off hand side completed. But they will have to punt on the play. Which gives Jacksonville the ball back and a chance to be great. As Trevor Lawrence gets sacked right there. And does end up losing his uh, X-Factor ability. Bazooka. First, second down 14 here. Pass left hand side completed to Chark down to the 28 yard line. And the clock is ticking, boys. It's going to be a pass play here. This one completed to Julio Jones, of course, as he's having a fantastic game. Already two touchdowns, already over 150 yards on the day. Absolutely manimal. He could have done a pass right there. That would have been a very ballsy catch. A pass right there if he would have thrown that. He definitely could have, but he didn't. As he completes a pass right here, Travis Etienne. Actually, James Robinson down to the 37-yard line. Clock is ticking, though. Then moving the ball pretty effectively and running the clock. Definitely something you want to see. Uh, just no more mistakes in all honesty. They can't afford any mistakes here. Second down and four here. It's going to be a watch to the left-hand side. And it's going to be a pass across his body. Completed to Julio Jones. Down to the 20 yard line. First down 10 now at 20 yard line. Some motion in the ocean here. It's going to be a run to right hand side. And he's going to throw the ball away. Simply nobody open on the play. Second down and 10 here. It's going to be a pass to the left hand corner. And it ends up being pass interference on the play. Which will give Jacksonville the ball at the one yard line. Possibly giving them the game ceiling touchdown, but Jacksonville will run a read option pat of one and it ends up being another fumble by Trevor Lawrence just like that going ahead and giving Buffalo the ball and a chance to go ahead and tie this ball game up again. It's just simple mistakes like that. You got to hold on to the ball if you're Trevor Lawrence there. I know you're getting, you know, hit. He read that correctly. The linebacker went inside for the running back, which, again, usually leaves the guy on the outside wide open to run it in the quarterback. But, again, you just got to be a little bit smarter there. You can't take a risk like that in the situation. Even if you could get a tie yourself, just hand the ball off, run the clock, possibly get a touchdown, and definitely mistakes were made right there. And nonetheless, so... The Jacksonville Jaguars defense is going to have to go ahead and make a play, which they haven't done really all game, but they're going to have to make a play in this game, and it has to come right now. This has to be the play where they go ahead and change stuff around. Right here is going to be an incomplete pass. Could have been intercepted. That could have changed the game right there and ended it for Jacksonville. Just simply did not get the interception. But next play later, it is a pick by Miles Jack. And that's going to be a pick six. That's going to end it. And that's going to send the Jacksonville Jaguars into another win on this season. 3-0 this season. At, no, sorry, my bad. 2-1 this season as they lost the first week. So, should be an interesting season, like I said, throughout this year. I'm excited about this year, guys. I think it's going to be a lot better than last year. I mean, last year in the championship game. So, I think this year we're in the Super Bowl, most likely. Especially now we're getting Julio Jones and getting Aaron Donald. Really progressing this team even more. Adding more depth to this roster. Adding more pieces. Guys, keep in mind, when we got Julio Jones, guys, we also got a cornerback. We got Julio and we got another piece so we got some other pieces with julio we didn't just get julio so it just adds so much more to the team to get even more you know pieces to the team so excited about that right here in another pass play right there they will call the final timeout so let's see what they end up doing here 
it's always weird how the CPU does this where they go ahead and try to score at the very end. I guess it's to pad the stats in a way because it doesn't really matter too much, but I guess they kind of do it to pad the stats. If you guys did enjoy this video though, hit the like, subscribe button down below, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one as they cause a fumble and end this game off right. Peace out, guys.